Brandon Bossert, 47 ABC. All right, thanks, Brandon. The city is planning another knock and talk event in April around the Truett Center community and again near Waterside Park. But Salisbury isn't the only area trying to enhance their community. One group in Georgetown has been working on a rather unique project to help the homeless community, and it's all being done with, get this, plastic bags. 47 ABC's Justina Cornell is live in our studio and has more details. Justina, please tell us, what are they doing with these bags? <laughs> well, Julian, who knew this could turn into that. Well, this group is making sleeping bags and it takes a lot of time and effort, but it's not stopping nimble fingers. The group of volunteers through volunteer Delaware 50 plus from trying to make a difference in the community. One man's trash is another man's treasure and nimble fingers through volunteer Delaware 50 plus are bringing that saying to life by creating sleeping bags out of plastic bags for the homeless community. It doesn't solve the problem of homelessness, but it sure gives them a little bit of comfort and keeps them off the off the ground. But you're probably wondering how it works. Well, all of these volunteers are cutting up and crocheting plarn known as plastic yarn. Each like Walmart type bag, you get four little links out of it and then you pull the links together, sort of like a band chain, and then you roll it up into a ball, ball of corn and go for it. Just to show you how amazing these bags are, 600 plastic bags make up one sleeping bag. We're told they're water resistant and will offer a cushion for those who need it. It's easy to carry too, because I know when you're homeless, you have to carry all your personal belongings with you, so it's easy to roll up. Jim Martin, a community activist who helps the homeless community, says they pass out these sleeping bags often. Think about it, you're very lonely, you're isolated, but then you look down at the mat and, and it's a carefully woven piece of garment almost, you know, so someone took the time to do that. But these handcrafted bags aren't just helping the ones who will be sleeping on them. Crocheting can actually release tension and boost self-esteem. Statistically, seniors who retire and don't have anything to do go through uh, depression, anxiety, they, they, their health suffers, their uh, motivation suffers. Personally, it's making me feel a lot better to help the community, help the homeless, because they need all the help that they can get. Now get this, just to make one sleeping bag, I'm told it may take several hours to make the plarn, and from there it takes about three hours to make the final product. So a lot of hard work and dedication is put into these bags. We're told another benefit is actually helping the environment. It helps landfills by not having so much plastic, and it's a way to recycle.